Hi, it's Carrie. I've done a couple videos on Prisma Flow diagrams and they were pretty popular. So I wanted to show you the Prisma 2020 R package and Shiny app for making your own Prisma Flow diagram images. It came out of the Evidence Synthesis Hackathon, which is an, an annual event for the past couple of years. You can read more about the folks who run it down here at the bottom, the contributors. There's a little bit here about the tool, including a citation to an article about it. And what I'll do is follow this link to the online tool. Now it's important to read the directions here. If you're familiar with R and you like using R, you can get the R package and use it yourself. There's also a CSV template. But if you're the average user who doesn't know how to use R, doesn't have the time to figure that out, then go to the top and go to create flow diagram. Now here you can decide if you want to include or not include most of these other things and that will allow you to reset the diagram here. So we're not doing an update so we won't use previous studies. Let's say that we did do other searches for studies. We want to include individual databases and we want to include individual registers. Well, that makes it quite large. So maybe you're going to include the individual databases and registers in your narrative. Maybe let's turn that off. All right, and that looks like the kind of template we'd like to use. So let's proceed to filling this out. I'm probably not going to do a very good job here. I didn't write any of the numbers down, but let's say we found 500 records and databases and 100 records in registers. Let's say we found five in websites and five in organizations and you'll see them start to populate over here. Citation searching which is forward and backward searching. Let's say um, five. I'm just making even numbers to help myself out here. Let's say duplicates removed 300 automatically excluded mm, um, let's say five and let's say ten okay so that takes us to screening which is now 300 let's say we excluded 150 records sought uh, let's say we couldn't find 10 of them let's say we couldn't find 50 of them just to make it a little easier on ourselves uh, we'll say 100 other reports sought We'll keep that at zero. Reports assessed, so we did 100, 100 assessments, full text. Uh, and then the reasons here, can you fill that out? You can. So you could say, um, wrong population, um, 25, uh, uh, wrong intervention. I don't think you have to say wrong, you could just say population intervention, 25. Reason three will say geography. I'm just making stuff up here, but, but to show you how to do this, we'll say 25. Uh, we didn't do this. We'll say five. And we'll say, we'll say one and um, population, intervention, geography. Then we'll say one. Now it's not going to check your numbers if they're correct, which is why I'm taking a little bit of time here to think it through, but this is all theoretical. Um, so then let's say 25. Let's say we had 20 studies, but 25 reports of those studies. Okay, so I did the best I could in the time that I had, but you can check it over here and make sure it makes sense. I'm not sure that this makes sense, but I came close. Of course, yours is going to have to be perfect. Mine can be loosely perfect. And then when you're ready, you can download it in a number of formats. PDF, PNG, SVG, interactive HTML, or a zip file. We'll do PNG. Let's say I wanted to put this in as a figure in my manuscript. Then I get the file here in my downloads. And it is asking us to cite this. So we will keep that, you know and save it so that we can cite it. All right, we'll say dismiss. I'm going to go to my downloaded file. And this is now my downloaded image. So clean and so perfect looking. Give it a shot. I want you to know that it exists. I want to help you make your life a little easier. 
So use this Prisma Flow Diagram creation tool. It's a great template. Highly recommend. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.